Welcome back to Chaos Make Up Your Face, where I teach you how to make up your face. Happy Winter Formal! I'm beginning by prepping my lips with some EOS balm for some moisture. Am I pretty? Then I'm going to fill in my pores using the Maybelline Baby Skin Pore Eraser and I'm blending it out with my ring finger. After that, I'm going to use the Laura Mercier Radiant Primer to add a natural glow for my skin. If you accidentally put too much, just use a blending sponge to blend it all out and it'll make it all better. For foundation, I had full coverage in mind and wanted to use my new Sephora Perfection Mist Foundation. If you're wondering, I'm in the shade Medium. Also, when applying this, I sprayed it on the back of my hand and it left a red splotch on it. Definitely not the most comfortable experience I've had. For concealer, since I'm having a bit of a breakout issue, I'm going to take the Urban Decay 24-7 Concealer Pencil in ATF and dabbing bits of concealer on my trouble spots with my finger. Then, for under eyes, I'm using the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer and creating a harsh upside down triangle underneath the eyes to get the most highlighted effect. I also place the product on my forehead, down my nose, and on my chin where I'd like a bit more of a brightened look. To blend it out, I'm using a makeup sponge that I found at Ross. For setting powder, I wanted matte, but not too matte, so I selected the NARS Light Reflecting Loose Powder and applied it generously all over my face. It doesn't create a cakey look, so I went heavy-handed on my T-zone area. As you can see, my hand is still suffering from that foundation spray attack. For bronzer, I'm using the Body Shop's Honey Bronzer in shade number 2 and contouring my face. It's harsh now, but in a second, I'll be blending it out with an e.l.f. stipple brush. For blush, I wanted my cheeks to be rosy all night, so I'm using Tarte's Cheek Stain in Blissful for a pink cheek and topping that off with the Balm's In Stain Blush in Argyle. As you'll see in a bit, the pink is kind of my inspiration because pink reminds me of cutesy and adorable niftness. Then, beginning with highlighting my face, I'm starting off with my Revlon Photo Ready Skin Lights in Bare Light as a liquid highlight. Then, I'm going to set it all off with the Maybelline Face Studio Highlights in Nude. A quick spritz of Urban Decay's All Nighter Setting Spray. Oop, oh, yeah, got some in my mouth. And my hand is still suffering from that foundation attack. Don't know what it is. I'm pretty sure it burned my hand. I'm filling out my brows, which is something I don't normally do, with the Anastasia Brow Wiz in Soft Brown, and please excuse my lame attempt at filling my brows in because I'm not that good at it yet.
To set my hairiness, I'm using the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel to not only get rid of any harsh lines, but to tame the hairs as well. Moving on to the eyes, I'm beginning with the Urban Decay Primer Potion and blending it out with my ring finger. Then, let's jump into the Naked 3 palette. I'm starting by using the shade Trick, a gorgeous rose gold shade, and dabbing it directly on my lid. Try not to bring this shade up too high into your crease. To lightly blend out Trick, I took the shade Limit, and with a fluffy crease brush, I'm blending out the transition shade. Nothing on this brush, but just blending out any additional harsh lines. For deepening up the outer V, I'm using the shade Mugshot, a gorgeous grey taupe, and applying it with a stiff dome brush on my upper lash line and bringing it into my crease, remembering the V shape. If you prefer to open up your eyes, try for a C shape instead of the V. Then taking the shade Dust, which is an accurate name for the shadow because it literally is pink dust on your eyes, I'm placing that on a packing shadow brush on the center of my lid to brighten up the eye look. Lastly, using Mugshot first, I'm dragging that on the outer half of my bottom lash line, and then, using Trick, I place that shadow on the inner half of my lower lash line. Another fluffy brush just to blend out my harsh lines. Then I'm going to tight line with NYX's Matte Liner, which is one of my favorite eyeliners for tight lining because it definitely does not budge. I also lined my lower lash line with Stila's Smudge Stick in the shade Moray, which is a beautiful olive green for just a pop of color. Whatever your eye color is, choose a complementing shade as your pop of color. Then for lining the upper lash line, I'm using my favorite L'Oreal Linear Intense Eyeliner and winging it out. This will be a good base for the false lashes we're applying in a minute. I always like using the Red Cherry number 43 lashes because they're so natural, but add the tiniest bit of drama if you're still new to the false lash scene. A quick curl to the lashes after they're dried, then a coat of Lancome's Hypnos Drama Mascara, and then a coat of Clinique's Bottom Lash Mascara on my lower lashes. I highlighted the inner corner of my eyes with Milani's Brow and Eye Highlighters in the pinky shade, using the shimmery side on the inner corners of my eyes and the matte side underneath my brow bone. Lastly for lips, continuing with the pink, I took MAC's Angel Lipstick and first applied it directly onto my lips. Then, for a bit of shine, I'm adding NYX's Butter Gloss in Creme Brulee right on top. One of my favorite glosses because it's moisturizing and definitely stays on. Alright guys, that's it. Thanks so much for watching. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, comment down below, subscribe, and share this video. And if you're going to Winter Formal tonight, please have fun and be safe. Wishing you all a memorable evening. Hugs and kisses from me. Mwah!